Okay, this video follows on from. Go away. Uh, follows on, sorry, from the videos about doing blinking lights and pulsing lights, uh, which got me thinking well, if you can change the light intensity, then why can't you change the color? Uh, these balls here are just simply to illustrate some of the wave tooth motions. I'm going to be providing this file to reverse engineer because I, rather than actually going through each process I'm just going to show you what each one does because the processes really are very much the same as making the light itself pulse. So let's play this. And you can see how the, the lights are changing some are pulsing, some are going on and off, some of the colours are changing from one to another. Like this one going green, yellow, green, yellow. Some are shifting through a range of colours. And so we're just going to take a look at that. And again, they're all based on pretty simple things. So in this case, uh, boom, boom, boom. This this one here. I'm using the frame rate, and as you can see there, that's just a a value field. And the actual value I'm using is hash frame times pi. So that just gives me a value. Uh, and these things again, I. I've just basically copied them from videos I've seen. Um, I don't pretend to understand the math behind them. But there you are. That just controls how fast that happens because you're affecting the overall value of that. So you change if I play this, I take that down to... You can see how now it's flash, flashing quicker. And you take it up slows down so that's just that um, the cosine just gives you the squiggly bit and again these I've, I've taken from the other files there I just know they work and that's good enough for me I I'm not really interested in what the math behind them is I just know if you use them it gives you a nice result and all that does at the end of the day is drives the color mix so it flicks between one and the other based on it's a, basically it's doing that it's and you can say it's blinking so it's clipping to square so that's that one this one again same thing all of that is the same clips a square and that's just controlling the strength of the emission so that's just controlling the physical value. This one it's using a sine wave, so it's doing this. And basically it's driving the factor of this color ramp. So if we play that one, you can see it's flicking through the colors. And if I change one of these colors to, I don't know, be people, uh, why, why not? So it changes that, and if I change the, uh, you can see there's a bit of a white comes in in a minute. There's the white. If I pull that in, pull that in, again that affects, changing these affects the various rates, and it just drives all the way through the, and then back again, and through, and back again. This one does something similar to a, uh, a color mix except you're actually just using two values and driving the red and green channels and uh, the, the blue is staying at zero so basically you just alternate in those colors if I take the blue up to six you see it's 
changing the overall look of it, take it back down, it goes back to black. Point 0.1 goes to a dark blue, to point 0.01, and we have point 0.03. And you see, you just get a very dark blue instead. Cramp that all the way up, and it will go through a different colour thing. So again, you could have a driver for the other colour and get all sorts of fancy colours there. This one, it's just physically driving the hue value on a hue saturation to set the colour. Nothing fancy. And this one is just running through. And it'll set one colour, then it'll flick to another. If I stop that, I think you see this is basically that full that's just a cosine of the frame so again that's doing that and it's just doing a flick and these are all the same sort of thing using values this will explaining that that's the sine wave and so they all do a similar sort of thing again this was taken from Somebody else who did the hard work of the math by found it on, I think it was, uh, ooh, anyway, a Blender forum somewhere, a Blender Exchange, I think. Um, but basically, like I say, I'm going to put this up and you can deconstruct it or just copy the, the material and play with it as you see fit. And um, just sort of finish off that little bit of the flashing lights. As I say, I'm not going through it because I just copied the stuff directly from an image. So just grab these and dump them into your file. <laughs>